cry. Person that started crying, and I said, God, Lord, God, me again. Yeah. Open and disappear, say, with all this pain, me I go to church and I said, God, I am feeling pain. I was not complaining to anybody. I said, God, I know it shall be well. And I remember in the midst of my worship one day, the preacher or prophetess was preaching, and I missed my worship. When it is good to worship, when you worship, the songwriter says, My worship is my weapon. This is how I win my battle. We have to worship. You know how to get a touch from the man or the woman of God. You come to fasting today, you know what you are going through. But tell yourself, it shall be well. I was on the altar, I was there worshiping. And we are working, so we are dancing. We love dancing, so many people in the day, so many are dancing. I love to dance in church, we love worship. And we set up on pain and rap, and we say, every time we meet, we say, mm, God did pain. We are worshiping, and we are tell God about the pain. And I remember the prophet said, she said, come out, come here. And when she started talking to me, we said, Lord God, everything you say are true. And she said, listen to me. The Lord said that she started to deliver. But she started to speak over me like this. She said, you know me every time? They said, yes, every day she come and come my workplace. And she said, you're there, yeah? Every day, you know? Is that enough for day? And we said, God, you are going to take me out of this situation. When we said, pain, pass, and again, pain, you know? When you see me, we look like any old woman, and I'm a young girl. But I decided that I have to push. I have to pray until something happens. I have to worship until something happens. And when we start worship, I knew when I got to the me, I didn't know it would be well. But I knew the God that I serve. And look at me now. You know what you're going through. It shall be well. Nobody don't have to come to you. You don't have to go and tell me a real change when you're going through. Tell it to Daddy Jesus. The songwriter said, in the middle of the night, when my back is against the wall, I mean, when no mighty God, what Jesus do, Jesus taught me how to pray in the middle of the night. Sometimes when I go past the past, I'm in the middle of the night. Go down by your knee and pray. Talk to Daddy Jesus because what? He loves to hear us talk to him. If he doesn't know what you're going through, he knows what all of you are going through. But he your faith, brethren. The scripture says, faith in God can move mountains. Faith in God can calm the trouble sea. If you have faith in God, that God Almighty, sometimes when you are word, who don't just chant, who just chant now, sometimes you don't have to tell nobody you now, who don't just chant, chant a song, that God Almighty, sometimes when they think when they fall, and they say, they are sick, and they are sick, and they are sick, and they are sick, and they are chant, because they say, God, what people are doing in trouble, Already in the Bible. Yeah. We already did it. 
and Jesus went through. So if he went through, what about me and you? We are going to go through the same thing, but we just have to press as the man of God was explaining this morning. The woman said she wanted to end it. Everyone, when we say, everyone, we are going to push. We are going to pray until something happens. Because we know it shall be well. We not give it, giving up is not an option. When we know the house and truth, that is not an option. When we say, we have to pray, my brother. That we know so we can't give up. We have one man and own beat with. And we say, beat you in the word of God. God Almighty. Every day, a scripture. Let me say, over, over, over church, a scripture. That is the way we Every teaching is of the scriptures that she's teaching from. So we know how to live. So we know so when we have gone through something, we can't give up. We've got to push. Because if Jesus went through, what about you and I? The good thing is, Jesus went through, so he, he was victorious over 2,000 years ago. And if he was victorious, if we are picking, it means we victorious too. So when we are fighting, we are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from a victory. Because we are already victorious. So if Jesus put the keys of death and the grave, what we are worried about? Pastor said this morning, why worry? When you can't pray. Brethren, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. We as pastors, pastor, you know, go through. And we have to go through harder than how some other go through. Let me say, our trials, our crosses, is heavy, heavier than yours. Because we have to cover the entire block. And we're not only covering locally, we are covered internationally. So our heart is, we are getting the hardest to hit. And we can't give up. We have to pray. And if we know that so we are getting weak, we just call upon somebody that is stronger than we. Because the Bible says, he that is stronger should pray for those that are weak. So this afternoon, I want to encourage you, don't give up, don't quit. It shall be well. If you remember the story of Brother Lazarus, Brother Lazarus was dead. And when people say somebody dead, they start running, not true. After a couple of days, they start to run as well. And he was there in the tomb. And when Lazarus was there, Jesus came and Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. He said, come forth. And if Jesus took Lazarus, Lazarus out of his dead situation, what about the dead situation that you are in today? God can call you forth out of the same dead situation without the man or the woman of God touching you. If you just have the faith and say, God, take it and feed me there. I mean, no, it shall be well with me, God. The Lord can pull you out. If he put me out of my situation, what about you? If he put the bishop out of his situation, what about you, brethren? Just activate your faith. Have your faith now. Pray. Don't start praying. And when you're getting the hardest fight, at that time you have to pray. When it seems like you can't pray, God of Baal, Hala, we love Baal and Hala. Because when you know that they go hear me. He hears the cry of the righteous. Yes. Yeah, if you have sinned, I'm not going to go for repentance. No. Yeah. Repent. Yes. And say, Daddy, all right, no, you forgive me for this, and I'm moving on. Yes. God is not looking at your, on your past to bless you this afternoon. Yes. He's not looking at what you did yesterday. He's not looking at what you did last week or last year. If you repent and move on, God forgive you. The word says, as far as the east is from the west, so far we take our sins. And as high as the heaven is from the earth, so great is the measure of his love. Our God loves us more than anything. And God doesn't love to see us, his people, being sad. He doesn't love when we are oppressed. But just talk to him. Just have a little talk with him this afternoon. And it shall be well. Amen. Amen. Come and touch yourself and say, it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well, my brethren. Just have the faith that it shall be well. God is able to see you through. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever think of, ask, or even imagine. 
is the power of the impossible. So just have the faith this afternoon. Amen. 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 These are my few words. Amen.